grandma's house has a bunch of treasures. And so I would always, on weekends when I would go for the summer, I'd go dig through things. And um, lo and behold, I look through and I see an Oilers calendar. And I'm like, Grandma, what's this? And Grandma told me the whole story. And then I call Mom. Mom, why did you tell me you were a Derek doll? You were a cheerleader. My girlfriend that actually I went to high school with um, was a cheerleader. When I came back from college, she was cheering and she was like, oh my God, you've got to come be a cheerleader with me. And that was in 82, 81, 82, I came out. We didn't have a locker room or anything. We literally got dressed in a bathroom. And you, I want you to imagine 40 women and a lot of hairspray and big rollers because we had really big hair. And it was just hilarious to watch us all get dressed in there. We like stepped over each other. I mean, you had to be friends because you were like right beside each other trying to get dressed. But um, it was a really cool experience. I definitely had an amazing sisterhood. And I only cheered for one year, but it, it was definitely a year that, that impacted me. I went to UT. I told mom, I go, if I'm gonna do college, I'm gonna do it big, I'm gonna go to University of Texas. And so Palm was rough for me. My first year, my rookie year was rough. Um, I was not the most successful rookie, and I think she noticed that really took a big hit in my confidence. She always brought me back down to remind me, you know, don't worry about what you can't do, worry about what you can do. And what you can do is dance, and you're gonna watch your captain, and you're gonna get this. My deal with her was, is whatever she chose to do that year, whatever commitment she made, she had to see it through. So she couldn't like stop halfway. If she hated soccer, I'm sorry, you gotta play till the end. And it was kind of the same thing with dance. It was kind of like, if you wanna do this and participate on this team, it's great, but you have to do the whole year. And then you, can, you can't quit halfway. People are relying on you. It's a team, it's a unit. I am fortunate that I made a second year and my tryout for my second year of Palm was night and day difference, thank goodness. Um, and then my third year, I, I felt like I had mastered it. And then UT made it to the Texas Bowl, which was at NRG Stadium. Yeah. And I was cheering on the field and I was looking up and I saw my mom and my family and I was looking up and I was looking up at the stands and looking at the stadium and I was like, you know, I don't think I'm ready to hang up these palms. And actually, right when I was thinking that, I looked to um, Jumbotron and it says, Houston Texans cheerleaders tryouts are in April. And I was like, all right, I got the sign. Yeah. And that's where I, I think I finally made that connection that I was gonna follow mom and go to Houston. And if I was gonna be on any field, it was gonna be where my mom was. I never wanted to be that helicopter mom that pushed my kid to model or whatever. I kind of wanted her to figure it out all on her own. And, you know, the first time I came and watched her, it kind of was like a little bit of a deja vu. You know, I kind of looked down there and, you know, I kind of see her in me right now, you know? <laughs> I've gotten it down to a science finding her in the stands. Um, she'll tell me what corner she is and I will find her instantly. And seeing my mom with her cell phone trying to find me yeah. um, Take the pictures. <laughs> is always a special moment. And then being able to say hi to them at the end on the on the field. On the field. Yeah. It's always been my favorite. Safe. Such a fabulous experience. I don't care how old you are, getting on a field where it's college collegiate or coming in and getting down on on the NFL field for the Texans. It's it's still an awing moment to be down there. People would ask like, who do you look up to? And people would say you know, celebrities or iconic people. And I honestly always said my mom, she's superwoman. Like I think no matter what life brings her or puts in her way, she's always showed me say yes and do it right. And I think those qualities about her uh, have been the reason why I have been able to dance for as long as I have and have the work ethic that I have and be confident in myself. She reminds me of why I'm there and what I'm doing and never take it for granted because you never know when you're gonna be able to do it next. It's true. So, so true. I think I did an okay job. She did a great job. I love my music. <laughs>